Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Now, uh, for quite a while, there's a lot of you, uh, pretty much since I put the original video of the uh, Gamewood uh, 460 up, you've been asking me about uh, SLI. Um, so, do you know what I mean? To keep all you YouTubers happy, and a lot of people on the forums as well, have actually got in, as you can see behind me, a pair of EVGA 768 megabyte. 460s. Now it's not like any of the special overclock versions or anything like that. It's pretty much just a bogo set of uh, 460s. But I've done that really for a reason, and that's because uh, technically we're going to be putting this head to head with a stock 480. And uh, later on in the video, I'll be showing you some game results and stuff like that. And uh, behind me now, you can see I've just run a Vantage run. Now, just to let you know, uh, we did a 480 ages and ages back. And you were looking at about 21,500, 22,000 for a stock 480 uh, in Vantage. And about 24,000, 24,500 uh, when you overclocked the uh, 480. And that was with the cars screaming out loud and, you know what I mean, it was going crazy. Um, now, we need to kind of remember, now... The UVGA cards are slightly more expensive, but you can get a basic 768, 460 now in the UK from, you know, going upwards, but from £120, they're an absolute bargain. Um, in my honest opinion, this is the best card NVIDIA have ever made. Uh, if the uh, 480 had been on par with this, but, you know, better up because of the price range, they would have been onto an absolute winner, but do you know what I mean? This is, at the moment, the only NVIDIA card worth buying. And I don't mind saying that out loud. The 465, the 470, and the 480, as far as I'm concerned, you should be buying the ATI variant. This, at this price point, do you know what I mean? 5770, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't buy it, I'd buy this. Even the 5850 gets knocked off his perch once you've overclocked this card. So it's a, it's a little card, but it's got an awful lot to offer. Now I told you the uh, 480 results earlier on, the stock and overclocked, and in stock with these two cards, I mean it's a big score for two little cards, 26,000 in stock format, do you know what I mean? And they overclock like stink as well. I've not done a overclock for this bit of the video, but I might do one later on. But I know there's lots and lots of you out there that are all going to go, what does it play this like? What does it play that like? Do you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. So what I'll do is I'll bring the camera in and show you the screen. Keep an ear open because you can hear the cards. Uh, if you can hear any fans while you're back there, it's actually my server behind you because I'm uh, playing around with a couple of things for a video that's coming up soon. But um, yeah, keep your ear on the cards because I'm going to leave them on auto because they make no noise whatsoever. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, yeah, just play a couple of minutes of a couple of games. I do Metro and uh, Crisis Warhead, and uh, yeah, we'll leave Fraps running, and you can make your own opinions up. Because to be quite honest with you, these you know when you put these little cards in together like this, they're amazing. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be quiet quickly, bring you in, and we'll get some game footage sorted out. Right then, guys. This is on uh, game settings, and I know a load of you are going to moan, but it's what we always run the games on, so I'm not going to change it. Basically, do you know what I mean? Those of you that moan, I'm sure you've got enough brain cells to rub together to work out how much less it's going to be for enthusiast settings. Now, it's a shame that um, I've got my server running in the background because you're probably going to be picking up the audio from that uh, because these little cards, they uh, don't make hardly any noise whatsoever. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick blast on this and I'll also give you a quick blast on 
uh, Metro. Go and see if we can blow the tank up. Blew the tank and me up. Right then guys, I was going to do Metro 2033. Uh, as I loaded Steam up, it's updated and now the game won't actually resume from where I was before. So I haven't got a scooby what's going on. Uh, but obviously I didn't want to spend ages trying to work it out. I wanted to get this video busted out. So basically we're going to, this is um, Stalker, full direct X11 mode. 1920 by um, 1200. Just going to have a uh, wander around. See if we can find something to kill so you can all laugh at me. There I do. Now, I know this isn't technically part of the game, but... It did seem to stutter there. Um, I have no idea why. No, I know what. As you can see, the uh, the game plays with the cards is not exactly hard frames per second are right up. I mean the lowest I've seen it go down to is about 80 and this is with everything turned on. It's an amazing pair of little cards. Hey guys, just thought I'd show you a quick screeny of the overclocked Vantage run that I said I'd do. Uh, pretty much all I've done is uh, up the core clock to 850 MHz and uh, put the memory up to 2000 left the uh, fans on auto and throughout the Vantage run we've got a maximum temperature of 74 degrees C currently idling at 31 uh, but yeah we got over 30,000 uh, 3D marks on the performance settings so massive for two little cards uh, yeah absolutely phenomenal uh, just to sort of like put this into context one GTX 480 uh, actually scores 24,500 when overclocked so uh, that kind of shows you how much better these cards are anyway it's time to move the camera and get this uh, video wrapped up right then guys uh, this is the end of the uh, 460 SLI video um, and as you can see a pair of even just the 768 megabyte ones which when paired off is the same amount of memory as a 480 uh, they absolutely blow a 480 away uh, it's uh, really, really, do you know what I mean, I love these little cards when I first tested one I liked them but now I've had two and I've got to see what they're like, they're, they're brilliant uh, in some of the game videos if you think there was a bit of stuttering or something like that basically that was because the V-Sync was turned off 
If you turn the V-Sync on so it caps the frames per second at 60, you get no problems whatsoever. It's just where the uh, the frames per second were screaming off, do you know what I mean? And it, it, that was the reason. But yeah, um, when you think about it, that you can buy these cards now, like I said, for like 120 quid for like the basic 768 megabyte ones. Yeah, I mean, even if you bought reasonable ones for 150 quid, you're still going to be able to get two of them for cheaper than a 480, and you're going to have better performance. Uh, and the most crucial thing for me is they're cooler. They're much, much cooler. They don't put out hardly any heat like the uh, 480 um, griddle does. Um, and they're a lot quieter as well because the fans hardly ever spin up. Pretty much unless you're living in an oven or your case has got no airflow, you'll probably hardly ever hear them. So, hands down, uh, it, obviously we're testing the EVGA once today, so very much big thanks to EVGA, but to be quite honest with you, it goes across the boards. The 460s are absolutely brilliant, uh, and it's the first time in donkey's yonks that I'm, you know what I mean, I've ever told anyone to buy an NVIDIA card, but if you've got just over 100 quid to spend, you'd need your head testing to buy anything else. So big big thumbs up and uh, yeah we'll wrap this up and leave it here and I won't yabble on you've seen the performance they're wicked so go and buy some so this is Tiny Tom Logan with the EVGA uh, GTX 460 SLI review out